Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I've got a quick update for you today on just kind of the projects that we're working on, the commission jobs that I'm working on, and next stuff that's coming up on the channel. We've been working on a few projects for quite a while now, and we have a bunch of them on the list that still need to happen. So things have been really busy. I'm trying to keep up, but uh, hey, here's where we're at. Let's kind of go in order from over there to over there to, to at the shop or, or, or something. So if you've been following along the ES335 build, you can see I'm making progress on it. Pickups are in. Actually, the wiring harness is wired up, uh, but I'm trying to get everything actually installed, which is why there are tubes coming out of that. It's taking a very long time. I don't know. I've never done one of those before, but I will show you guys how I do it. It's going to work. Don't worry. It's just taking some time. So that is coming up quick. Almost done. Chris, we've been working on this guy for a while. This is a commission job. Really interesting build. Uh, Telly neck, LP Junior body, hip shop bridge. We've got a humbucker. We've got a P90. Interesting wiring scheme. Well, pretty standard wiring scheme, actually. Uh, locking tuners, the works. This thing is really cool. Yeah, custom job for Chris from CISO. CISO. And uh, yeah, this one's basically done. I just need to get the strap buttons on here, which is going to take not very much time at all. Make sure the wiring is all working correctly, and then we'll get that guy packed up. So really cool build. I don't have a ton of video on that. Um, we will chat briefly about just why this works, how this works, because it has confused a couple people. Uh, and that one's basically done. We'll do a quick video on this one as well. So uh, Sean, I know you've been waiting for this. There have been a couple problems with the paint job on this one, but it's done now. Nice purple burst, purple, purple to black, transparent. Took me a few tries. I think actually uh, Sean, the owner of this guitar, would have been happy with an opaque burst if I had done one, but uh, he, he had a look in mind and, and I wanted to make sure that the color was right and everything. So I've painted that one a couple times now. It's time for assembly. That guy will be finished soon. Next up, we've got two more commission jobs happening. Uh, one is a, a custom airbrush job on a fan fret Kiesel guitar that's going to be really cool. Uh, and the other is a fairly involved build involving a neck, uh, neck build, an extra pickup, routing, all, all that stuff. I got a couple things left to sort out on that one. But uh, yeah, a couple more commission jobs and those will be my last ones. I'm not doing this kind of stuff anymore. Um, after that, it's going to be me doing cool custom builds that I'm interested in. And then if people want to buy them or whatever, we'll see how that goes. So those two are coming up. Stay tuned. The airbrush work is going to be really cool. The neck build is going to be very interesting. And uh, then we're doing another, obviously, few neck builds on the side because I've got so many cool neck building tools now that I need to demo for you guys. We've also got an acoustic build coming up. So I've been promising that one for quite a while. That is in the works. And then a fan fret kit build from Crimson Guitars that's going to be really, really cool as well. We've got a few other things on the go, but they're kind of a secret for now. So we will get to them. Let's actually chat about this here. Let's let's talk about why this works. Because when I when I said I was doing a Les Paul body and a Tele neck, I had a few people tell me that's not going to work. Your neck angle is not going to work. Uh, it's not going to intonate properly. That kind of thing. And I just want to make sure that that people understand why that's not true. Because some people still kind of don't think that you have a lot of flexibility with a the guitar. They don't think you can mix and match and stuff like that. So like this. LP style body, for example, is designed with a glue in neck. The neck's at an angle. It's got a break angle to it right here. So that means I have to have a raised bridge so that I don't have my strings hitting the bottom here as they go to the bridge. That's how that one's designed, okay? That all makes sense. So that gets a tunematic bridge. It's set up for one. This guy, my neck goes in completely straight. All right, it's a bolt on neck. I have it routed out for a tele neck. So I put in a tele neck. So this is straight. It's going to set up just fine. That's what this setup is designed to do. This is really just like a tele body. It just has a different shape and routing system. Now, in terms of the bridge and intonation, I get to decide that, right? This, this body I basically made. So the bridge is where I wanted it, and it's based on how I measured my scale length on the neck. So I realized that an LP typically has a different scale length than a Telecaster. But 
that's fine. But if you've got a different scale length on your neck, you just position the bridge differently. So this is where a Telecaster bridge would be, even though it's not a Telecaster bridge. It's a hip shot bridge. It's what you would expect from a Strat or Super Strat even. So yeah, you can mix and match. You just need to have the right things working together. For example, the neck break angle has to be correct. The scale length and bridge positioning have to be correct. And really those are the important ones. So don't think that you can't have, you know, <laughs> this tuner set up on an LP. It doesn't matter. You just have to make the elements that cause the guitar to sound right work correctly. And in this case, they're all gonna be fine. The most interesting part of this will be balancing the volume between the neck and bridge pickups because the bridge will have a higher output as a humbucker than the P90 will. Really, that should be balanceable just by having this out a little further. So I've got the P90 leveled up a little bit and the bridge pushed back down a little bit. And that's about it. I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays actually. Should be fun. All right guys, that's your quick update. I'm gonna get back to work on wiring up that LP, get the strap buttons on this guy and get it shipped out and, uh, and get Sean's guitar reassembled. So lots for me to do here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to see how these projects turn out. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one. See you next time.